morning, superstars. So it is dressage explain day again. I'm here to answer all your questions as usual. I've just finished filming the how to collect your canter video that's coming up on Thursday. You can see there's my groom walking down G. Hi, that's Ash. <laughs> so let me get into these questions. Again, remember guys, these are questions that have come directly from you from your YouTube comments. So please write the comments. We do read them, we do reply, and some of you will even get your answers answered like this from me. Okay, so we're gonna kick it off with a really epic question. It's all about half halt, okay? So Julia Lake has asked this, and it is a mega, mega question, and exquisitely hard to describe. Exquisitely hard. So I'm hoping that I can get it for you. Why does everyone ask about half pass? Oh, sorry, half halt? Because no one actually gets what it is. Why do all the coaches always say half halt, half halt, half halt, half halt? Because people aren't half halting. Why? Because they don't understand what it is. Why don't people understand what it is? Is because it's not a definite button. Later on today, I tell you how to do, say, a flying chain, what the actual button is and when. That's a button, it's set do X, Y, Z, and you get blah. A, a half halt is a nuance, a half halt is a feeling. So I'm gonna do my very best to describe it to you in the way that it makes sense in my brain, and hopefully it helps. So if you think of the big fancy trot that you see me do when I ride Wessel, um, when you see, if you watch the Olympics, you see the top end have these big, really elastic, beautiful, flowing trots and as it goes further and further and further down the levels the the trots might seem more normal that's not necessarily horsepower these guys at the top have this amazing ability to feel microscopic unevennesses in the horse and then they fix those and that's ultimately what a half halt is so at the very basic uh, you need to have your horse on four two tracks so you've got your hind legs here your front legs here everything's in line yeah you need to be able to keep all four feet there by communicating with your horse. So is it where you sit? Is it what your reins are doing? Is it where his shoulders are, where his hind legs are? The answer is yes to all things, but it's at different moments in your ride. But you need to have in your brain, I want my horse's feet to be on two tracks all the time. And then half halting more often is ultimately just realizing that he's moved when he's moved that much and fixing it then, oh, come back. Fixing it then, oh, come back. Versus waiting till you're out here and then going, oh, I've lost it completely. So it's just communicating with your horse more often so that he's got movement, but he can't get, there's a line. He can't go outside of a certain line. I think of it like to myself, like, um, you know those gymnasts that have the bars either side of them? I feel like I've got my horse in between those bars and there's a bit of wiggle room that he can move, but he can't go completely outside of it because the bars would stop him. And that's my half halt. My half halt is, hey, just stay here, okay? The next level on top of that for, to, make it, to make it half halt even more is then not only understanding that you're on evenness on your legs, or oh, sorry, evenness in your straightness in your legs, but also evenness in your feet, that all four feet have the same amount of weight. And that's when you're going, oh, okay, I feel like this front foot has a bit more weight than that outside hind, so I'm gonna adjust his body until they both feel exactly the same. And again, half halting more often is realizing when there's an eighth of a gram different in this foot versus when this leg's literally out in the air. And that's what means half halting more means. So it's not necessarily brace your back. It's not necessarily hold your hands. It is just keeping the alignment of the horse where it should be, which is two tracks, okay? All the weight in both feet exactly the same. And that the body on top of that isn't drifting and moving and bulging. And the more often you can half halt, someone says to me, how often do you half halt? All the time, all the time, every eighth of a step. And in fact, the higher you go up the levels, the more you um, half halt, because the more you can communicate with your horse, the more 
literally, if you give them a small, you feel them bulge in the shoulder and you go, oh no, move that, move your front legs over a half a centimetre, they react like that. So you're able to go, oh, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. And that's what gives them all this energy that comes up because they've got nowhere else to go. Younger horses take a bit longer. But again, the point is, is that you feel them bulge and you go, oh, you're bulging, come back, oh, that didn't work, react, turn a circle. So that you're always reacting and not just sitting there letting the bulge or the, or the um, crookedness or the lack of um, uh, stability stay the same. That's ultimately my interpretation of a half hold. Whereas quite often you hear people say, just squeeze your reins. It's so much more than that. It's about getting your horse to come with you, be with you. It's about your posting, yeah? That your horse, if you post faster, he follows you faster. If you post slower, he fo follows you smaller. It's about the control over the entire horse, keeping him in those lines. So again, Imagine, again, Jeremiah, maybe my editor can help me. If you put two lines here, think of train tracks or think the gymnasts, you know, that put their arms here and they <laughs> do their little dance. <laughs> Excuse any gymnasts, because that was not a very um, articulate way of showing saying what it is. But imagine that your job is just to keep him in between those bars or keep him attached to those train tracks no matter what you're doing. And that is the half halt. Sometimes it's a squeeze of the reins, sometimes it's a move of the shoulder, sometimes it's an adjustment of the seat, sometimes it's a rising faster or slower. It's different things at different times, but, but, that's, but it's not the button that is the half halt, it's the end result which is the half halt, which is keeping your horse in between these lines and on the train track. I hope that made sense guys and I hope that helped. So I hope that helped guys. The feedback was last week it was a little bit long so I've only done the three questions today um, and we put the timestamps in there as well. Remember I am here for you. I am loving this and I'm loving all the feedback I'm getting. So please ask and ask and ask more questions. I want to be here for you, I want to help you. And I'm hoping that in the future, we can even maybe once a month, have a small group of you get to come and meet me and ask me questions live, because that would be amazing.